Senator Rand Paul praises President Trump's announcement of additional troop withdrawals from Iraq, saying the president is acting to end America's endless wars. One America's John Hines caught up with Senator Paul and has this report. You know, uh, President Trump has announced that he's going to be reducing the troops in Iraq. I've long been an advocate of this, so has the president. The president ran on the policy that he would end the endless wars in the Middle East. We've been for two decades, nearly two decades, in Afghanistan and Iraq. So I think it's a good idea to bring our troops home. The Iraqi government's also called for this as well. And so I think that uh, the best way to, for us to protect ourselves is to be more nimble, not to be occupying space and acreage everywhere around the world, but to be able to respond if we need to anywhere in the world, but not really to have troops everywhere in the world. A lot of our expenditures in the Middle East are actually building their roads and bridges and doing infrastructure for their country. There's a lot of infrastructure in our country that needs upgrade and we're passing over because we're spending that money overseas. President Trump has really been a great advocate, one of the best in recent times, about saying let's spend that money here, not overseas. And you contrast this policy with perhaps the policy potentially of a Biden administration. Well, you know, I don't think Joe Biden ever really learned the lesson of the Iraq war. He said, you know, he voted for the Iraq war. And he said, well, you know, now looking back, the intelligence wasn't good and maybe I wouldn't have voted for it. That's a lot different than what President Trump says. President Trump says, don't support the war because the regime change well, destabilized the Middle East. It made Iran stronger. It got rid of Saddam Hussein, which was a counterbalance. You know, there was a balance of power between Iraq and Iran, and it created a vacuum for terrorism. I never hear Biden saying that. I hear, oh, George Bush lied to me about the intelligence and I would have voted against it. That's what Hillary Clinton said. But neither Hillary Clinton nor Joe Biden learned the lesson that regime change in the Middle East sometimes makes things worse, often makes things worse. When we got rid of Muammar Gaddafi in Libya, we got chaos, civil war, and more terrorism. When we got rid of Saddam Hussein in Iraq, chaos, civil war, more terrorism. It didn't make the world a better place. Even though these were terrible dictators, sometimes getting rid of a terrible dictator simply destabilizes the, the country, but doesn't necessarily make it better for us. I don't think Joe Biden has uh, understood that. Joe Biden has been an advocate. You know, he was vice president under Obama when, when the Libya war rates. occurred and our participation in that. So I think really Joe Biden would be uh, responsible for more involvement in the Middle East, more war. And I think President Trump has shown incredible incredible restraint at keeping us out of war, and I'm very proud of him for that. Finally, sir, what does this say about the president keeping his word or not? Absolutely. You know, he said he would end endless wars. In his State of the Union uh, a year ago, he said that great nations don't fight endless wars. This is something remarkable. Neither party has had a president to do this. And this is really President Trump rising above the label of Republican or Democrat and forging a new America first foreign policy that really both parties have not participated in. He's really transformed the Republican Party into a party that says, you know what? We do need to be concerned with taking care of our country, and maybe we shouldn't just be passing out money to countries that burn our flag and chant death to America and don't like us. You know, that's sort of the thing that most Americans can't quite get. Why does the United States keep giving billions of dollars to countries that really hate us? And I think President Trump viscerally gets that, and he's keeping his word. Senator Rand Paul, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.